in the previous video we saw this uh, parity of permutations okay first we introduced the concept of permutations uh, in the first video and then in the second video we introduced the concept of parity of a permutation so we saw we had a permutation and this permutation is called even or odd or odd according to the inversions okay so if the number of inversions is even the sign of the permutation is one if the number of inversions is odd then the sign of the permutation is minus one okay so for instance let us pick f s3 1, 2, 3, going, 1 going to 1, 2 going to 2, and 3 going to 3, so that's the identity. All the identities are always um, even, okay? Uh, but I was looking here, yes, let us say Sn, okay, for any n, 1, 2, till n, right? So if this is the identity, 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, and goes to n, okay? So every, the, the, the identity permutation is always an even of, an even permutation, so of even, as even inversions. So the sign of the identity is always 1. Now let us see, for instance, something even easier, S2. So we have 1, 2, we have the identity, and then we have 1, 2, 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1, right? So, um, so this one is the identity, so this one will be even, for sure okay and in cyclic notation we'll write this one like this 2 1 right sigma will be 2 1 so we only have one inversion right because 2 goes to 2 1 right because 1 is at the right hand of 2 so there is only one inversion and since there is only one inversion we have odd inversions, so the sign of this permutation would be minus 1. So let us write this in a different notation. So let us call this permutation 0, and let us call this permutation 1. Okay, so the sign of permutation 0 would be 1, because it is the identity, and the sign of permutation sigma 1, this one, would be minus 1, because it has uh, uh, an odd number of inversions. Okay, let us see in um, S3. Um, the sign of each permutation. Okay, so let us pick this one first. Let me write this in a different notation. So I'm going to write this like this. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Um, so, well, first this is the identity, so I'm not going to do this. Okay. So this one is even, of course, because it is the identity, right? So the sign of this permutation will be one. Okay, what about this one? 2, 3, 1, right? So, how many, how many pairs we have here? So, 2, 2, 1, right? The only smaller one at the right of 2 is 1. And then we also have 3, and 3 goes 1, okay? Okay, so 2 inversions, so an even number of inversions, so the sign of this uh, permutation will be 1. What about this one? So this one will be 3, 1, 2, right? So pairs of integers 
3 to 1, 3 to 2, right? And those are the only ones, right? Because then 1 has no uh, less integer at the right hand, so only 2. So an, inver uh, an even number of inversions, so the sign of this permutation will be 1, 2. Okay, what about this one? So 1, 3, 2. So I think the only pair of integers, the only inversion here is 3, right? Because 1 has no right hand uh, less number, and 3 is only 1, so we have an odd number of inversions, so the sign of this permutation will be minus 1. What about this one? 2, 1, 3. So we have the pair, the only pairs here is 2, 1, right? 1 is no less less number at the right hand, so we have an odd number of inversions, so the sign of this one will be minus 1, 2, and the last one, oh, 3, 2, 1, so we have 3, 2, and 3, 1, and 2, 1, right? 2, 1. So 3 inversions, 1, 2, 3 inversions, odd number of inversions, the sign of this permutation will be minus 1. So we are going to use this in the future videos. Uh, when we introduce different concepts around determinants.